PV Powered came to SEL with a unique challenge, trying to figure out how to solve a tough problem with integrating higher amounts of photovoltaic on distribution and transmission feeders. And SEL had the synchrophaser based technology that we were looking for other ways to apply it to. To us, it seemed like a great marriage of working with a company that's trying to solve a problem and using a technology that looked like could fit for that. In the Sieges program, Advanced Energy, SEL, Northern Plains Power and Portland General Electric have all been working together as a uh, really a fused team to bring together all of the new functionalities that will be needed for uh, a more intelligent connection to the grid. When we were first envisioning our CGIS application back in 2008, we knew we wanted to go do something around Annie Island. And we had some ideas about how we might do that and we came upon uh, Schweitzer at a trade show and as we read up a little bit on synchrophasers, we thought, hey, this might be the ideal tool. And we approached Schweitzer with an idea to partner on this program. In utility-owned solar, uh, basically we've been working on about three projects. Our first entree into solar was America's first solar highway project, which is a 104 kilowatt array along the uh, interstate. From there, we moved on to the first and second phase of Prologis, so we ultimately ended up with 10 buildings uh, with solar on it for a total capacity of 3.5 megawatts. The fundamental design problem for the inverter uh, industry is to move beyond the anti-islanding approach deployed ubiquitously today, which is a perturb and observe method on frequency and voltage, to something that is more intelligent, more autonomous, and enables the deconvolution of the primary intent, which is line down safety situations where you don't want a generator on that might hurt somebody, from the kinds of grid support features that the smart grid requires. So as more distributed generation is deployed uh, that combines with the traditional rotating machine, coal plant, gas plant, power plant, etc., you need ways of supporting that grid in the kind of disturbances that occur. This is, requires an, an innovating a whole new method. Synchrophasers would seem to be an ideal for that. The value added is fairly obvious. By using it for the islanding application, we're barely scratching the surface of what we think synchrophasers can do for us. The reliability and the lack of false trips are being proven right now. That's a big part of what the Sieges project is all about. And so far, we have had very good success with two methods. One is called the Wide Area Network Method, which was developed by Schweitzer Engineering Labs. The other one is called the Correlation Coefficient-Based Method, which was devised by the, the Sieges team. And so far, the indications are that synchrophasers can be made to be extremely effective in this application. We're taking a lot of what we learned through this Sieges program and using that feedback then to integrate into our commercially available products to make them better, to allow them to fit that application better. It's feedback from the Sieges program that allows us to take what we've learned and make it more affordable, more efficient, and easier to integrate for our customers.